Let me on that note open this up to my guests who are joining me on the broadcast. So Jada Paul of the Congress Party is with us. Nitin Tyagi, who is a spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party, is also with us on the broadcast. Also joining us is Ghansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party. Uh, we also will be having Kovai Satyan, the spokesperson of AIADMK, and later we'll also be joined by R P Singh of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Let me actually uh, take this across to uh, the person from the Congress Party, Sujata Paul. Uh, Sujata, if you can hear me. I'd first yes. like to understand. I've just broken down the numbers uh, for our viewers on how does it look like as Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Council of Ministers are all set to be facing that no trust vote. Why go ahead and pass it when you know that this will survive the test of times, and of course the numbers are in their favour. You have already given a historical perspective of the no confidence motions. Now the non-democratic alliance of Mr. Uh, Mr. Modi. is facing this again because there is no trust left in him or his government and when you uh, when there are so many issues and he answers none he only condemns derogates demeans his opposition when he is supposed to be answerable this is the only option left before us 78 days passed and he had 36 seconds for the people of manipur and more specifically for the women of manipur hmm. we are 50% of this population and the prime minister is not bothered about us what else do you expect you if you remember they had said that article 355 had been imposed in manipur hmm. and uh, there was no answer because there was no notification which was issued so the prime minister must come and answer mm. about that he should also answer about the houses of his own uh, ministers and and cabinet ministers whose houses have been set aflame he should answer how come an adgp clay konsai his house was set uh, on fire mm. why did nobody go and meet mr wunza again balte who has been in hospital in delhi for the last two months and he was almost paralyzed he was given electric shock all your points taken not... sujata but the primary question is that just in order to bring the bjp onto the mat bringing in a no confidence motion or no trust vote against the narendra modi government how justified is that act this can be termed as a last ditch attempt even though the opposition alliance india knows that they are going to be winning it just in order to get him to the parliament do you think you can gag him and get him to speak about manipur is that a, a coherent enough move at all should we have had any reason to gag him and force him to come to parliament but we have to get him to parliament because he is answerable to the people of india through parliament he is the leader of the house hmm. now you were talking about making him speak no we are making him accountable on various issues we are making him, him accountable to the people of india and that's why we want him to come there do you know that this is a border state and the nsa is nowhere to be seen who is the home minister doing a favor when he says we are ready to debate this no we want answers from the prime minister and of course we were offering uh, uh, something better to the prime minister he could have spoken right at the beginning if under rule 267 this issue could have been discussed and debated but mm. no it has to be a limited time discussion under rule 176 which the people of manipur do not accept and the people of india do not accept he can go and say whatever he wants about india mm. but it does not matter anymore because he has shown that he stands against india when the rss is complicit in what is happening in manipur when viran singh has failed as a chief minister in manipur mm. and he refuses to remove him just like when you say rss is complicit in whatever is happening in manipur what do you exactly mean sujata what is happening in manipur we are seeing that article 355 they said had been uh, implemented there but there has been no notification the governor has said that i have never seen this kind of uh, uh, situation anywhere else ever before mm. but he has not spoken when did he speak he mm. went hugging uh, the france uh, chief macron he went to uh, and uh, address the joint session of parliament in us and he refuses to come out uh, come to our own parliament this issue is being discussed across the world in uh, uk parliament in the eu parliament and our prime minister doesn't want to talk about it in our parliament when 4000 uh, uh, weapons have been looted according to them or rather distributed to the militants who are raining havoc in the state where okay. women are having to uh, you know being paraded in public naked mm. with their uh, vaginas being thrust literally in front of the world 
he is making us all feel naked and he is not answerable okay rp singh of the bjp is with us it. now rp singh uh, please respond to all these uh, uh, you know allegations that the congress is making also one change uh, nimi rastogi now joins us from the aam aadmi party we will be going to Ras uh, nimi rastogi in just a bit but rp singh your response so for the answer that let me just play out the video of today's court scene outside rao zamu court this is a woman who was raped stripped and her family was in 1984 Today, after Mr. Singh, Mr. Singh, you know, are you trying to say that everything two wrongs make a right? Are you trying to say that, Mr. Singh? Let's not put out any videos. Let's not put out any mobile videos. We have videos. We will be putting it on our screens. Our our producers are very very competent to put the videos on the screen. But I just want to understand the allegations that the Congress is making. How is the BJP responding to it, and why is the Prime Minister choosing to stay away from this conversation I'm, I'm around money? Yes. Responding to that. Give me a second. I'm responding to that. 39 years ongoing struggle in the courts and all the pressure by the Congress and Congress Party and after that we could just get the confidence of the charge sheet. The women were raped. They were stripped. 27 people get sexual abuse and families were brutally killed. Like Excuse me, ma'am. How can you? I mean, how can we burn Hindustan media and Hindustan media? Money court. Women were stripped and they were. Manipur. Absolutely. So, will the Prime Manipur. Minister speak about it, Mr. Singh? Will the Prime, the Prime Minister speak about it? So, obviously, Prime Minister spoke about that in the Parliament itself, outside or inside. No, he, no, no, no. How is it outside or inside? How is it outside or inside? We are talking about the seat of democracy in the country, which is the Parliament. Why is he staying away? One second, Mr. Singh. Why is he staying away from a conversation inside the premises of the Parliament? What does inside or outside mean? He is supposed to be speaking to the members who have been elected, the chosen members, to represent the country, represent India. Why is he staying away from that conversation? When did the Prime Minister say he won't speak in the Parliament? It is the Home Minister who said that I am the Home Minister. He is in charge of the law and order situation in the country. He is in charge of the northeast uh, department. So he said, "I am prepared to debate and open up the debate and speak on the subject, and we are prepared to discuss at length." He wrote a letter to both Malkarjun Khadge ji, the Rajya Sabha leader, and Adhiranjan Chaudhary, the Lok Sabha leader, and said, "Let's come and debate." And it was not that Prime Minister would not intervene or am not 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 spoken. I mean, I mean, how can you treat it like this? But It's not necessary that prime minister should open it away. The home minister is the person who is concerned. The minister who is concerned is prepared to open the debate, speak on the subject, and he said as much long as you want to. But they don't want to because they know if the discussion is done in Manipur, it will be great issues which will raise, and there are no answers for those issues. And it will not only Manipur, then Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal. What happened in Rajasthan? Other day, a Dalit woman, a tribal woman. Was there and stripped apart in 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 Rajasthan? No, no question on that. No, no question on that. Mr. Singh, answer this. Mr. Singh, Mr. Singh, allow me to come in. Answer this. You do understand that the situation in Manipur, which where the violence has spread out over 80 days, has really got on hand out of hand. This is a state in the country that is burning, and it needs immediate attention and intervention. of the high offices that includes the prime minister's office the prime minister himself has sent out his deputy his home minister not once but two on two occasions to actually take a stock of the situation in manipur however the allegations are and what we see happening despite that despite the fact that there needs to be a cease fire there needs to be a dialogue and discussion as was suggested by the home minister the situation has not improved don't you think now after more than 80 days that important intervention of the prime minister is needed 